Another story, a related story about the IMF suspending Afghanistan's access to funds. They're due for a $370 million uh, allocation to what are called uh, strategic drawing rights. It's kind of like the currency of the IMF. It represents a basket of currency, including the U.S. dollar, uh, euros, and what have you. But that's not going to go to the Taliban, um, as you would expect, uh, that those funds have been cut off. And in fact, the Federal Reserve, which warehouses about $7 billion of their $9 billion in reserves, uh, has blocked access as well. So the Taliban is still operating on illicitly gained funds. They have a, a little bit of access to yeah. money still in the country, but not much there, Kiko. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of time to, to sort of reassess what played out. But in the meantime, the reality right now is that the Taliban, um, that is the government in Afghanistan right now. They're going to try to build things out. But in the meantime, we've heard the UN, for example, talk about this brewing humanitarian crisis that is unfolding within the country. And there are real questions, as you pointed out, Jared, about how, in fact, the Taliban is going to rule without those funds in place. And it's worth reiterating those numbers that you just highlighted, uh, whether it is the $7 billion in place in terms of foreign reserves, to your note, the Biden administration has already blocked that. The IMF money has been blocked as well. And then you've got the European countries, Germany, the EU, many other countries who early on last fall uh, sent Afghanistan $12 billion or committed to send Afghanistan $12 billion over the next four years. And they have now said that they um, would block that as well. So you think back to what the thriving economy was um, or how the economy thrived you know, pre-2000, under the last Taliban government, um, you know, we talked a lot about the illicit trade that happened through growing poppy um, in Afghanistan. I mean, I think there's going to be real questions here, but, you know, worth noting that even as we talk about what this new government, the new economy is going to look like, uh, it's really the Afghan people who are sort of caught in the middle here. And um, there is a real humanitarian issue that I think it needs to be addressed moving forward. I mean, something we should certainly keep a close watch on. Right. And for centuries, uh, the graveyard of empires, as it's called. And to Andy Serwer's point, um, yeah, there's a lot of countries involved here that have uh, that have fought similar wars before, from Russia to uh, others. So we're going to keep tabs on that.